Hi guys, this is Mark Shaws in The Pattern Trader. Uh, first thing I want to say is that I hope that uh, all of you are keeping safe uh, in your respective environments uh, around the world. Uh, we're all collectively uh, in this together and obviously extend my uh, well wishes to uh, you and everybody around you. Now, uh, in the last couple of weeks, uh, we've had a lot of fun. There's been uh, unprecedented uh, volatility uh, in uh, all of the asset classes we've had five to 10% uh, daily moves in the US stock markets. Uh, you've had moves of $100 or more uh, each day in gold, and you've had some currency pairs moving 1,000 pips in a day. And it's very easy uh, to get sucked up in this environment, get carried away with the emotion, uh, and maybe you even made some big money uh, chasing some of these moves. But uh, you know, uh, my own experience has informed me that uh, this is not going to be a long-term prescription uh, for a good outcome. And again, I know it uh, from my own experiences. Uh, I used to you know, look at short-term charts. I used to get caught up. I'm a p passionate person. I'm an emotional person. And I found when I get caught up in these moves, uh, it uh, inevitably results in a spiral because you get involved with, for some emotional reason, uh, then the market gives you a, a different look and then you start doubting yourself and start chasing it the other way. And then it turns again and then you, you know, uh, get in, uh, uh, you know, on the other side again. And all of a sudden you're involved in this uh, revenge cycle of catching up, uh, being mad at yourself and ultimately detonating your account. So uh, I can imagine this may sound familiar uh, to some of you. So uh, the way I found to put some guardrails around myself uh, and ensure that I didn't get uh, sucked into emotional trading uh, was by journaling my trades and by looking at the longer term uh, time frames because my ultimate objective is to take the big moves out of the market. 200 pips, 300 pips, 500 pips, 1,000 pips on a move. And I have been doing that with amazing regularity in the last three, four months. Uh, I'm gonna talk about a couple of trades where I'm holding a 450 pip move right now in pound versus Australian dollar from last week. Uh, but again, in order to do this, uh, you need to you know, settle down and wait for the market to come to you. Uh, so what do I mean by that? So instead of chasing these big moves where the Dow Jones is you know, going up and down 1,000, 2,000 points a day, uh, gold's going up and down $100 a day, very difficult to tag these moves even if you're on the right side because it's hard to assess the risk. So instead, what I do is try and identify, uh, you know, perhaps some less sexy markets, some markets that aren't being focused on at the time. And two of those uh, markets, uh, you know, became apparent last week. One was the uh, pound versus Australian dollar, and the other was the Australian dollar versus the U.S. dollar. Both of them had a component of the Australian dollar. Now, the Australian dollar has been the weakest currency over the last five years. I've been advising our members to go short Australian dollar on every blip up, on every dead cat bounce. Uh, but once uh, Australian dollar uh, went under the shelf around 67, it looks like it set the stage for a bear trap and I started to see some reversal price patterns. Uh, so what I'm talking about uh, was uh, with the respect with the uh, pound versus Australian dollar, I saw this setting up of this long-term ascending broadening price pattern. Now we won't know if this pattern is confirmed until we see a breach under the 94 price level. We're trading about 96 now, uh, but I didn't wait. I started seeing a double top price pattern at the apex of this ascending broadening pattern. Uh, then I saw a collection of what I call inside bars where the daily ranges of two bars sat within the daily range of a session three days prior, setting up what I called a coil. And now I can anticipate the coil was going to reverse lower by virtue of the ascending broadening pattern and the double top. And so uh, while I wasn't sure about it, I just put my sell stop entry uh, underneath uh, these two inside bar coils and the market put me in uh, at uh, 271 price level. And right now we're trading at about 196.40, uh, 450 pips lower. Uh, so I just put my entry in and the market did all the work for me. Uh, but this was a trade that I could assess my risk. I understood by sitting, putting my entry order uh, at the 271, I could understand where my risk was going into the trade. So there's uh, two sides to every trade. Most people get really focused on the entry. Uh, but to my mind, if you don't understand the risk, uh, you're really setting yourself up for failure.
So uh, if you'd like to understand a little bit more about my process, if you'd like to understand a little bit more about my methodology, uh, don't hesitate uh, to uh, get in touch with me. Uh, you can contact us uh, through our email at support at the pattern trader. Uh, so in the meantime, I hope you found uh, some of this information uh, of uh, great input to you. And until next time, I wish you guys a healthy and prosperous trading day.